I'm both a, a clinician and a researcher. Uh, I'm a pediatric oncologist clinically. I take care primarily of families that have more cancer than would be expected by chance. So we're really interested in sort of helping these families figure out why it is that this is happening and if we can figure out why it is, come up with a plan so that they can sort of make sure it doesn't happen. We're interested in how just normal genetic variation and stuff that exists among all of us affects our cancer risk. And the idea is that if we can figure out a group of genetic variants that predispose people to cancer, then we can say you're at risk. And maybe here are some things that you can do to prevent them. And maybe if we understand what these variants, what these genetic differences do, we might be able to use that to target prevention strategies or treatment therapies that really attack the disease and leave the person well. Cancer to me is a human disease and you know I get to see the face of it every day in the hospital but you know to get to see not just the disease but people who have beaten it, people who have dedicated their lives to helping people like me is incredible and it's inspiring and it just makes you want to redouble your efforts. I owe an enormous debt of gratitude to the ACS. Um, when I got my first faculty position at the University of Chicago, you know, they gave me some startup money. But, you know, that was enough to sort of get things set up. Um, I applied to and was lucky enough to get money from the American Cancer Society that actually let us do the big experiments that got us started. Um, it turns out that the stuff we do is working, you know, shockingly enough. Um, it works. We're actually able to distinguish things or identify genetic differences that are associated with differences in risk and we can understand how those genetic differences interact with exposure, smoking, you know, so on and so forth that we all know are important. Um, and it was really because of the money from, that we received from the American Cancer Society that we were able to even think that we could do those experiments. And so my start was the result of the support of the American Cancer Society. And I love this organization and, you know, it's not just a starting point, but it's a lifetime of involvement and commitment and interaction. And I'm very proud to be part of it and to have the opportunity to actually do something like this to really first talk about what we're doing and second to say thank you. Mm -hmm.